Good morning, Newcastle. And uh, great to see you as uh, it's uh, been one of those uh, days. Uh, and I don't know any way else to uh, describe it as uh, we've had, we had a cyber attack yesterday. The good friends at Facebook and a couple other places straightened it out. Okay, so I appreciate that. Um, it was just turbulent as uh, turbulent goes and um, nothing uh, <laughs> you know uh, different around here uh, it just it, it continues on now we have a lot of information for you uh, coming at you this morning and we were a little bit later as we checked our systems and uh, kind of threw off the, the hackers. Okay, uh, so uh, that was really uh, a challenge. Now, uh, as we move on here, uh, the, the thing that I like to do at this time is set all my controls and uh, with that uh, it, it makes it easier for those that are watching anytime on their time to uh, do some things uh, so uh, with that uh, I always like to uh, Keep it so that everybody can get to where they have to go. Now, um, we're going to give you a first look at weather. Uh, it's the 31st. It's Tuesday. Uh, and uh, that makes it uh, really something. So, uh we're going to get and do that on Newswatch, and uh, I uh, copied and pasted a little too much. And uh, there. So, uh, without any further ado, the train is on the tracks, and Newswatch is straight ahead for you. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. NC TV 45. NC TV 45, Newcastle, the train. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Paula Chalella, Attorney at Law, 113 North Mercer Street, Newcastle.
If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. The Easter Bunny loves Bill's Bake Shop. Bill Cass, the owner, and his staff are baking all your Easter favorites like Easter bread, rice pie, ricotta pie, sausage and ham pies, nut rolls, apricot and poppy seed rolls, decorated Easter cakes, Italian pastries, and so much more. Bill also has a wide variety of baked goods six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday. Call Bill's Bake Shop and order for Easter. They're located at 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoning Town section of Newcastle. Call 724-654-4223. That's 654-4223. Hello and uh, welcome back and um, as uh, we finish up our remote controls we have a monitor sitting to our left and monitors to our right our camera angle is straight ahead and uh, it takes uh, a little bit of time sometime to get through all of these uh, functions but we're back up and uh, things look good. Currently in Newcastle, okay, as we take a look at temperature, 39 degrees, and uh, not too bad, and uh, really kind of, uh, we're gonna get some rain today, we'll focus on that a little bit later. And uh, let's get to what's coming in on the <coughs> mail excuse me on the mail bag um, and uh, I have to reach out to a few people oh that's the wrong area <laughs> okay now here we go as uh, <laughs> Everything's up and at him. Uh, Daniel DiPolo, thank you for following us as uh, we continue through. Cuzzy, thanks for uh, watching NCTV45 and uh, loving our picture. Uh, really appreciate that. And um, we... Uh, when you have what what's happened with us, yeah. you you get a real uh, kind of uh, crazy type thing. And now uh, I want to freeze down to where the news is. They flooded my bag. See that that's the other thing, and I'm grateful for it. When we get an attack on our station, people rally around the station. Here we go. Governor Wolf, the state receives a waiver to uh, facilitate greater flexibility with Medicaid chips programs during mitigation. Let me tell you, that is so important. I uh, we got to come up with, and I'm not picking one or the other, folks. We we got to come up with an answer to this healthcare system, so that people are covered. That's the bottom line. And uh, if you get sick or lose your job, you have to be able to get healthcare. I I thank Governor Tom Wolf. Uh, I think that's uh, you know sometimes. You, you, you like it, sometimes you don't. I think that's a heads-up move by the governor and uh, totally, totally think that's great. Uh, so thanks, Governor, on the waiver to facilitate greater flexibility in health care. Now, um, the Greenville Chamber of Commerce reminding you, and they were doing this last night, but they're reminding you anyway, that um, things are out there uh, and the drive-thrus are open. 
Uh, I say that, you know, I know we'd all like to be sitting together. And my good friends in Greenville that have gotten the board of the NCTV 45 train, hands off to you. I love you, and I uh, can't wait to ride up and see you again. <sighs> Governor Wolf, um, and this is a further stay-at-home order uh, that has been issued. It brings yeah, the counties to 26. There's 58 counties. in Pennsylvania. Here are your counties. Allegheny, Beaver, Bucks, Berks, Butler, Carbon, Center, Chester, Cumberland, Dolphin, Delaware, Erie, Lackawanna, Lancaster, Lehigh, Luzerne, Monroe, Montgomery, Northampton, Philadelphia, Pike, Skullkill, Washington, Wayne, Westmoreland and York. Okay. By now, I think we know what this means. Essential tasks. You know, you need groceries, that stuff. Engaging in outdoor activities such as walking, hiking, uh, running. Maintain a social distance. They're, they're just asking you to try and not be on top of each other so that we don't spread this thing. So uh, that Governor Tom Wolf's declaration on that. And um, the insurance department in Pennsylvania warns against in-person sales after the governor's closing of all non-life-sustaining businesses. So, uh, Pennsylvania Insurance Commissioner Jessica Altman cautioned Pennsylvania's insurance license that in-person sales and brokerage are prohibited by the governor's work order. And that's really got to be tough on those people um, because they can't do any in-house visits. So um, just to keep you aware of what's going on on Newswatch. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this look at sports. And uh, today... You know, my heart goes out for all those kids that are seniors. Uh, especially in high school, that's a, that's a great time. You're graduating. And so this is senior night at Taggart Stadium. Take a look. We'll be right back. At 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543.
teenager and also a student council historian, escorted by Norman and Jennifer Roy. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program is sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company. Brian Chess owner, call 724-498-4760. Brian would be glad to visit you. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Brandon Cummings, lower operator. Well, welcome back, and I uh, did have the microphone turned off, 39 degrees in Newcastle. This is from the library. They're doing uh, Join with Zoom, and they're doing virtual story time. We'll uh, contact them and try and get that up on our afternoons. COVID... As you, you as you saw last night, it's up to 4,087 in Pennsylvania, and um, here's the here's the deal with it. Uh, when you look, and I want to, Chris Sonata has been keeping on. We we get the same press releases. I'm sure Chris gets many more than me, but. When this comes in, he puts up a map. There's a map on here. It's the same map. Okay. Now, Pennsylvania Department of Health and has confirmed that this was at 12 a.m. yesterday. Now, we'll be getting an update, and I'll try and get you at noon news watch. But here's the thing. 18 and under. Less than 1%, less than 1%, 1% between 13 and 18. So you've got under 3%, 18 and under, under 3%. The kicker, okay, in 19 to 24, that's only 10%. So that's thir 24 and under is only 13%. Here's the group, 25 to 49 41 percent now 
50 to 64, 28 percent. 19 percent, 65 and older. So uh, the group that's that millennium group that really has to <coughs> be careful. And uh, my group, we're on 28 percent is kind of high. So uh, just to give you the figures out there and. Uh, when you look at the map, 10 and 2 deaths in Lawrence County, please, if you don't have to go out, make sure that you don't. Uh, step on your porch, get a breath of fresh air. I'm not, you know, yell to the neighbor on the next porch over. But, uh, Keep that social distance. Governor Wolf committed to the fair and equitable treatment of all Pennsylvania during COVID-19. He released that, I will not tolerate discrimination in allocation of life-saving resources based on any factor, including but not limited to age, disability, social income status to Pennsylvania seeking medical care in our Commonwealth. This belief is something that I hold and expect at all times. But especially during the public health crisis, William Penn founded our state on tolerance, acceptance, and that is a tenet of what we expect today and every day. So uh, that in from the governor. Now uh, this as a Newcastle law, Moose Lodge they're having a fish fry Friday. Call 724-654-1261 they appreciate it They've got $11 dinner with two sides, $9 sandwich, uh, and uh, when you call, they'll tell you the rest because I, I, they sent it in a handwritten picture. <laughs> Guys, send me an email. State prison system. Uh, Department of Correction Quarantine State Prison System to fight COVID-19. They had a couple, uh, they had uh, a few uh, people, one, I think, I don't know, uh, that was, had a problem. Matter of fact, uh, Susan Nutting, uh, did uh, email it, uh, us uh, that there was one. I don't think they had any others. And uh, that's going to take us to weather. And um, Cleveland, clear out through that state of Ohio. Pittsburgh, showing you some clear skies too. Currently in Newcastle, 93% humidity, wind chill, 35, the temperature 39, wind speed northwest at 5 miles an hour, barometric pressure 30.01, 2.37, and visibility 10. So uh, with that temperature of 39, what's it going to be like today? Well, let's check out. Lawrence County 45 weather and we'll be right back. BSP Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSP has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSP. Big Shot Bob's will be your favorite place, just like me.
easy clean car and van wash where your clean wash is our goal. Yes, friends, Chalella and Carney Floral Designs is alive and well in Newcastle. Owner and designer Stephen Doherty and his staff have a special motto. We love what we do, and it shows in every area of the business. Stop by their pleasant Southside store at 1006 South Mill Street. Chalella and Carney has been there for the community with quality and service since 1943. You can go to the website, chalellaandcarney.com, or call 724-652-8412. We're back, and the Hoyt Arts and Education will launch this week uh, virtual programs, uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do about picking that up for you. 
so uh, this is an update. I, first of all, our hearts and prayers go out to Congressman Mike Kelly. Uh, he's come down with COVID-19 and we hope everything is okay. Updated congressional response to COVID-19 and I want to thank uh, Toomey for picking up the slack as my son rattles his bag. Uh, lethal Penethol has Pethogen has invaded our community, killing hundreds and making tens of thousands ill. In an effort to contain the spread of the coronavirus, employers across the country, including Pennsylvania, have been forced to close. Our economy, we already know that, for financial stress on families and those furloughed laid off, the CARES Act delivers direct payments and expanded unemployment benefits. Uh, so uh, he, he gives us the CARES Act summary and uh, talks about it. Go to uh, Pat Toomey's uh, site and uh, that I'll just refer you there because he has a lot there. Let's uh, take this time to uh, hear from these great people. We'll be right back. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Well, that's going to do it here, and uh, I've been watching, and uh, we've got the closed caption going on, and I checked for the reverb, and uh, I'm not kind of getting it, as, um, well, I guess we'll let the... Uh, closed caption go uh, there you go I know where it is now <laughs> sorry um, but maybe that's a good thing to have on we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll keep it on for you uh, as uh, that'll help people who uh, have that hearing impaired so uh, Here's hoping you have a great day. Tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, hey, I don't watch a lot of TV, you tell them that NCTV 45, why, well, we're available anytime on your time. Yes, a train that runs on your schedule, that's NCTV 45 right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County, and... Um, 
you know, it's time to pick out one of those songs of the day, something that uh, you can carry with you the whole time, and, uh, you know, you're home, you've probably been eating a lot, here's something that can like get you moving, grooving, and shake your love. How about that? Now, um, here's hoping that you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world. Have a great day.